As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. Hello everyone, this is Alex Austin, Structural Group Lead with DRD Technology. And today I want to talk about a little known function in ANSYS Discovery uh, for CAD extraction. I'm going to show you how to create 3D solid geometry from 3D surface geometry. And the whole point of this is uh, to be able to bring that solid, uh, 3D solid geometry into a third-party CAD system like Creo Parametric for comparison to an original design. So typically the finite element analyst will take a solid structure, likely de-feature and convert it to surface geometry for simulation purposes, make design changes to satisfy design constraints, and then continue iterating until they are satisfied with the design. Uh, at the end of this uh, path, the analyst will need to take that final design that may have been changed in ANSYS Discovery and pull that back into Creo Parametric uh, and compare it with the original design and, and make sure the assembly drawings are up to date and so on. Now, the way to do this in ANSYS Discovery uh, is pretty simple. Um, you'll notice here that I have a uh, frame rail structure that is pure surface geometry, so you can see it has zero thickness in the graphics there. But if we look in the tree, you can see that each surface body has a given thickness. I will use a function called volume clipping and we simply set a center point here and then as you can see we kind of drag this sphere to encompass the entire uh, set of surfaces and then we go back into that menu and I'll zoom in here so you can see this watch this thickness here we use extract geometry give this a couple seconds and now you can see we end up with this geometry snapshot component in the tree with three solid parts under them and you can see that where the original surface geometry was that guy right there you can see that the solid geometry is in, uh, covering that surface based on the thickness that's specified for the surface part Now for more tips and tricks like this, you can uh, use the uh, text on screen to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click on the link below. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.